There's still no resolution in the high-stakes battle over the president's amnesty fiat for illegal immigrants. The president today tried to goad Republicans somewhat. He met with six young illegal immigrants that he calls dreamers and who are benefiting from his executive fiat, so-called dreamers, as I said. I want to be as clear as possible. I will veto any legislation that got to my desk uh, that took away the chance of these young people who grew up here and who are prepared to contribute to this country uh, that would prevent them from doing so. Uh, and I am confident that I can uphold that veto. Well, for now, Republicans seem unable to reach any kind of uh, party consensus on how to move forward a bill that would have funded the Department of Homeland Security but also unraveled the president's amnesty fiat failed another test vote in the Senate. Mr. Obama's amnesty order going into effect February 18th. Funding for DHS runs out over a week later, February 27th. On Capitol Hill today, Health and Human Services Secretary Sylvia Burwell refused to answer whether the Obama administration has a contingency plan should the Supreme Court rule that federal subsidies for Obamacare are illegal. Her refusals led to this exchange. You refuse to answer our questions, and that uh, to me doesn't strike me as trying to work with Congress, but rather contemptuous of Congress's oversight responsibilities. Do you believe you have authority to issue an administrative fix, or do you think you need additional legislation? Senator, what I am saying is what I have been focusing on is implementation, not on that question. Mr. Chairman, I. Uh, Secretary Burwell is a charming person, and she's obviously intelligent, but these hearings are absolutely no use to us if the witnesses refuse to answer straightforward questions, which this witness has repeatedly done. The senator couldn't have put it better. Burwell went on to say nearly 10 million people have signed up for Obamacare. Uh, but this sounds like an echo from our recent past, doesn't it? She also declined to tell the senators how many have actually paid for their enrollment and their coverage. We're coming right back. Jordanian King Abdullah vows revenge as the Pentagon is outed for a campaign.